Would you like another iced tea? No, thank you. Hey, coach, good game today. Yeah. Excuse me, do I know you from somewhere? I don't think so. <laughs> no, no, th that's not a line. I mean, I really think I've seen you someplace before. No, you haven't. Wait a minute. Wait, I know who you look like. The lady on the news. What's her name? Uh, Christine Armstrong. I'm not her. Yes, you are. <laughs> You're Christine Armstrong. Hey, everybody, we got a celebrity here. It's Christine Armstrong. <laughs> All right. Hi. Well, good night, Dan. It's going on. I don't know, but I'm gonna go find out. I'll be back in a minute. Christine, wait. Oh, Hayden, hi. I have to run. Give me a call on Monday, okay? Oh, no, no, no. no wait, what are you doing here? Will you just let me go? We're making a scene. Oh, fine. Well, let's go over here and talk in private. Oh. All right, fine. Now, we can talk in private. Now, what the hell is going on? What do you think is going on? I am making a fool of myself. Do you have a problem with that? Excuse me, coach. What is it, Mr. Clark? I need my coat. <laughs> Number 74? Uh, it's the downfield stadium jacket with the screaming eagle armband. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, thank you. <laughs> so much for privacy. Christine. I'm not letting you leave here until you tell me what the hell is going on. Now, whatever it is, I'll understand. I wanted to see Beth. Are you nuts? <laughs> oh, good, you do understand. Oh, well, no, listen, I'm sorry, but why would you want to see Beth? Because she's the woman you used to love. I know that was 16 years ago, but I, I just had to see how the two of you looked together. By the way, my heart really goes out to you for having to spend a day with a woman as grossly obese as Beth. <laughs> if that... If that is your idea of fat, what am I, a bus? I had no idea she looked that great. So you admit she looks great? Christine, the whole restaurant thinks she looks great. This isn't my coat. That isn't mine either. But I'll take it. <laughs> oh, well, I think I've had about all the humiliation I can stand for one day. Oh, oh, oh Christine, you can't run out now. Now, you at least got to come over to the table and just meet Beth. I'm not coming over to the table and meet Beth. God, I look like a frump. A soggy, sweaty, neurotic frump. She knows that. <laughs> She's already seen you. Oh, listen, Christine, I'm not calling you a frump, but I mean, you gotta come over to the table. I mean, if you don't, then she's gonna think you're afraid to meet her. Come on, I wanna show you off. All right, I've been humiliated this much. I might as well go all the way. Just promise me that all I have to do is say a quick hello, and then I can leave. I promise. Wait. How does my hair look? Keep the hood up. Oh. <laughs> well, 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 well. Yeah, what a crazy coincidence. Uh, Beth, there's someone I'd like you to meet. Yeah, Kelly already told me. Hi, I'm Beth Fox. So nice to meet you. Would you like to join us? No. No. Uh, Christine's got to get back. You know, she's an anchor woman in Minneapolis. Yeah, so Kelly said. Must be very exciting work. Very. Yeah, yeah. She's just up here doing a report on uh, women's winter wear. <laughs> Much as I'd love to stay, I, I'm sure the three of you want to get on with your family reunion. Well, look, I'll walk you out. Thank you. No, I'm sure I'm capable of finding the door without any help. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Good night. Oh, my, oh my God, I am so sorry. I'm sorry, I need a towel. And I'll need a broom.